hundreds of demonstrators at a St. Louis area shopping mall making their voices heard Saturday during a second day of protests after former white police officer Jason Stockley was acquitted of murdering black motorist Anthony Lamar Smith in 2011. Reuters correspondent Valerie Volkovici is there. I'm at the West County Mall outside of St. Louis where there are about 200 or maybe more protesters. They're chanting, shut it down, shut it down, as well as no justice, no profit. Uh, an organizer of this rally and this protest said earlier that the only way to send a message is through, is economically, to get at profits. That sends a signal that uh, they're tired of the status quo. There was a U2 concert scheduled for this evening with about 40,000 people expected to show up. It was expected that protesters would converge around that concert because of the heavy police presence and also the heavy, uh, the large crowds there. So because that was canceled, they're looking for a venue to really get other people engaged and to to, to be in a high volume area. Dayside protests were peaceful compared to clashes between protesters and police overnight. Violence broke out as officers fired tear gas. People broke windows at two restaurants and a library. Some demonstrators threw bricks and water bottles at officers. We told everybody uh, that if you were out there to peacefully protest, we're going to protect you. And that's exactly what our law enforcement officers did. We also made it very clear to people that if you riot, we're going to cuff you. Nine city officers and a state trooper were injured, and at least 23 people were taken into custody, according to police. <laughs> Protests like these calling to mind massive demonstrations in arson in Ferguson, Missouri, back in 2014, after a white police officer killed 18-year-old Michael Brown. Organizers say they're planning more protests in the St. Louis area over the weekend.